why hello there it is 18 days until elden ring comes out on february 25th 2022 and this is the elden wake countdown although you'll probably see this on the 17th day until elden ring comes out because i am all jammed up with my schedule right now but we still are going to go in order <laughs> and today is day 18 and 17 will come right after it and today we are continuing our item descriptions and we are talking about another one that mentions a soldier even though the topic of this video will actually be talking more about mechanics and um, a particular skill and that is the ash of war barricade shield and its description says barricade shield a skill made famous by sir neidhart focus your energy into your shield temporarily hardening it to deflect greater blows it can be used on all types of shield so this skill was made famous by one sir neidhart but in the closed network test it was being held by the bloodhound knight darawil and because we don't know much about sir neidhart and is otherwise kind of scant on too much more lore besides dropping a cool name I wanted to take a moment to talk about the Barricade Shield Ash of War because I find it interesting and kind of broken and I just wanted to talk about it because I don't think it is largely understood. I noticed that in Fextra Life's video about the skills, they explained it wrong and I wanted to take a moment to explain what it does and why it is kind of broken, at least in the state that we found in the closed network test. So how Barricade Shield works is that when it is activated with L2, it gives your shield a white glow for 15 seconds, and during that time, the stamina damage received is significantly reduced, and I believe this is mechanically done by increasing your guard boost value, which is the percentage that stamina damage is reduced by when you're blocking. So this first footage shows the iron round shield, which normally lowers stamina damage by 45% when blocking. You can see here how this hit without barricade does about four fifths of their stamina. And then with it active, it does around two fifths. So it roughly halves it. And similarly here, you can see it takes stamina damage from about two thirds to one third of the stamina dealt when the ability is active. So this seems fine to me. This seems to make sense. It's clear why you would use barricade shield but it doesn't seem like it is overly powerful in sort of changing the flow of combat in a significant way. And then we have the Barricade Shield ability on the Carrion Glint Shield, which has a guard boost of 62 normally, meaning that it is lowering stamina damage taken by 62% when blocking. So you can see that normally you are taking still a fair amount of damage, although you're doing better than with the Iron Round Shield, but with Barricade active, you are becoming nigh invincible for 15 seconds, taking at most 10% stamina damage from a given hit. What I suspect is happening here is that the buff Barricade gives the Carrying Glint Shield over 100% guard boost, and the numbers get funky and make this far more efficient. And while no one ever won a fight holding up their shield the whole time, it can really change encounters and I would assume be very obnoxious in PvP. And with weapons like the winged spear that the Enchanted Knight has in the closed network test, you can attack while practically taking no stamina damage. I really like this ability with the Iron Round Shield because it makes it feel a bit like Dark Souls 1 to me, allowing for a slower pace of combat where you can be more reactive. But when you have Barricade on the Carrion Glint Shield, it feels like it exceeds the spirit of the ability and is kind of broken even if that didn't mean I could just breeze through Margit's second phase. And there you have it, day 18, talking about the Barricade Shield ability. I really like this ability, and I would like to see it balance, but I really like the direction they're going where you can tell that it's informing different playstyles, and I'm really open to that. And I hope that maybe it can be massaged just to probably be a little bit more balanced, because I think as it is with a higher-end shield, it just really becomes ridiculous and you're basically invincible for 15 seconds. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like. And if you want more item description talk and mechanics talk, and then you want more lore and story content following the release of Elden Ring, please consider subscribing to The Lore Hunter. Thanks for watching.